Hello, in this week's video we're looking at Office Lens. So we're going to look at it on iPad, so you click and open it. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to photograph a variety of things. Specifically, you can either use it just for taking photographs, which you can then annotate, or you can look to photograph text. So if I just get that into a position where I'm happy I've got the text I want. Down the, the right hand side I can choose what type of uh, source I'm photographing, whether that be the whiteboard. So you could imagine for a whiteboard, by their nature they're typically transient, which means the information is wiped off when you need space. If this means you can create, take a photograph of the whiteboard and then using the OCR text recognition function you can make the text editable which you could then paste into a document. So I'm going to photograph the text and you can see it's trying to find the element I want to photograph and then choose document and take a picture. Having taken a picture I can then up in the top right corner I can either crop the image and I can just pick up the the anchors around the edge of the image to crop it exactly as I want it. I can rotate the image. I can change its source from document to whiteboard to business cards. If I change it to whiteboard you can see it alters the contrast there. I can add text, so if this was a photograph of maybe some students work I could type in and annotate that photograph to give them some feedback. Or if it was a piece of handwritten work that they'd marked I could circle various elements or underline certain elements in a way as, as a way of giving them some feedback. Now if you mark the document as I have here and then you decide you don't want the, those marks you can use the curved arrow just to the left of the crop tool to remove those marks. When you're happy you've got your image as you want it, you click done and you've got a choice to export it you can see you can either share it to, to email, immersive reader or I'm going to share it with OneNote. So you can choose which section of your OneNote you want to put it in. I'm just going to leave it in the default section. I can click Save. You can see previous files that I've exported. And then to view it in OneNote, I just click on it. It launches the OneNote app. And we can see it there. If I click on the image, one of the options is copy text. So if I click copy text, come just down below it, click into it and press paste, we can see that reasonably successfully it has managed to accurately interpret the text that was in the photograph. So even though it was slightly distorted, it's got the bulk of the text there. So it's a really useful tool, whether it's capturing someone's business card and then digitizing it using the OCR function. So you can enter that information into, into your phone or onto, a, onto OneNote or, or into Planner or something. Or whether it's photographing a whiteboard in the classroom with the information and then turning those handwritten notes into something that you can edit or annotate using the annotate feature. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, remember to tune in again soon for more EdTech videos. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.